right here behind me, this here, that, that, that is what you're looking at. That's the largest experimental corridor connecting habitat patches in the world. We're here trying to study what happens when we connect landscapes. If we connect them right, we can save biodiversity to a large extent. If we don't do it right, we're still trying to figure out what the consequences are of this. This experiment here in the Savannah River site, this is where the science is being generated that allows us to understand the positive benefits of connecting landscapes for biodiversity, which organisms will respond, which won't, what are the negative effects. Most experimental corridors are the size of a petri dish, and our single landscape is the size of two football fields. We have 40 of them. We literally have hundreds of species that we can mark at once using new techniques and track them throughout our landscapes to test how corridors affect not only a single species, but everything in its food web. For 20 years we've been working in this experiment, but we want to ask more broadly how these corridors might be used in conservation. What have we learned from science and how can we apply it to conservation in the United States or even globally? We're trying to figure out how this landscape works because understanding how it works allows us to influence management in a positive way um, all over the world. If we can figure out how this place works, we can export some of that knowledge. We can bring it out to the world and hopefully help save some biodiversity.